And hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mom Impressions, the show where we take a true first honest sneak peek at a game, hopefully letting you know if it's going to be worth your time and money. Today's game is Talisman Origins. I'm actually pretty excited to check this one out. It came out um, a couple of days ago on Steam as I'm recording this. It might be a little bit longer, uh, but it's originally a board game. I actually played the physical one. My friend had it. It was a it's a large game, a huge amount of classes to pick. It's a it's a big board. It's a huge, huge board. And uh, yeah, so this game came out. And from what I've read on the Steam page, they are trying to make it very heavily focused on having fun single player. So let's go ahead and see what this has to offer. And at the end of the episode, um, I'll go ahead and let you know my thoughts. And we'll check out the Steam page once again to see all of the little details. Maybe like, you know, more people can play or not. So let's check out the tutorial. And uh, there should be tons of different types of campaigns you can see here. I don't know if any of these are going to be like, you know, microtransactions by. But it looks like there's a goal here. What's this? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Maybe there's a campaign in here. Like there might be missions in here. Like mission, 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 mission. I don't know. This means guilds. It's like, oh, we've got to unlock it. Okay, see, so these are campaigns. Oh, sweet. So you finish the campaigns. Here you go. And then down here and coming next. So, you know, this game's probably early access. Okay, so let's check out the tutorial and see what happens. Chapter 1. Learn how to travel, fight beasts, and magic, and much more. So, I had, I love, okay, little backstory. I'm a collector of video games and board games. I have a crap ton of board games. Um, simple ones to heavy strategy ones. Um, one of my favorites is definitely Thunderstone Advance, the deck builder, which is really cool. And one of my favorite chillax ones to bring to new people is probably Splendor. So, yeah, this game is sick. Let's go. Chapter 1. Okay, complete the tutorial. Let's do this. All right. Oh, the board. Ah, oh, this board. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is sick. Okay, so, you know, I'm going to play as if you guys have never, ever seen the game before. So you guys can get a sneak peek at it. Um, and a refresher for me. It's actually been maybe two years since I've actually played this game. Um, welcome to Talisman Origins. You will control mighty heroes and undergo epic quests across the land of Talisman using the rules of the board game. This tutorial allows you to play at your own pace, and information will appear as you move around the board. Yeah, because this, I'm not going to lie, game, guys, this, this game takes hours to play, especially with like five plus people. Oh my god. For this tutorial, you'll be playing as the dwarf. You got it. Okay, the dwarf's information is over here on the left. You have strength, craft, life, gold and the spells and there's fate here talk about that later hell yeah so spells here objects followers trophies and other yeah oh my god oh it's bringing me back to those good old days after dismissing the tutorial feel free to click on it including the sword the dwarf's abilities okay the talisman board is split into three regions yep you start in the outer region you can see here the outer region and you can move in either direction around the board. So on the dwarf, I can go left or right, okay? Across the Storm River is the middle region. So the middle region is pretty much right here. You can see, you can barely see it here. And then the inner region, there. Which, if you're playing the regular game, uh, there's different goals depending on the expansions you get. But usually, you like get a certain item and then you go to fight the boss in the middle and then you're done. So pretty much the, the board game is how I, I would play it. Or how it was played when I did was you, you you run around on an adventure and then you slowly make your way towards the middle. You gain followers, you gain strength, you get different th ways of just buffing your character up, and then you go fight and see how far you can get. It's freaking fun. It's a race to the end, and I love it a lot. Um, okay, so most of the choices you make will be shown as buttons on the right side of the screen. So roll the dice when you're ready. Sweet. Okay, so they they, they wanted me to look over here in the dwarf. Okay, so here's the dwarf. So he starts with this. Five lives, which is pretty much your hits, craft, and fate and gold. Okay, special dwarf. You do not need to roll the die in crags or the chasm unless you wish to. So it's our special ability because we're a dwarf. I guess we're good in those little areas. If you choose the roll, you must accept the results. You may evade creatures in the hills. Okay, so it's going to be hard to like remember all this stuff, but if you play a character enough, I guess you're good, right? After rolling the die in the cave, you may add one to the score. You only need to roll one if you open the portal of power by crafting. You only need to roll two dice in the mines. You are unaffected by the maze. Wow, we should go to the maze, huh? Okay, it's really hard to keep track of that stuff, though, huh? Okay, so here we go. Roll the dice. Nice. Oh, a six. All right, so we get to choose where to go. 
Like one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it even tells you right here. So here is just random lands. I think if you land on the random lands, we're mostly gonna grab a um, just a, a basic generic card. So we'll see what happens. This is a good one. Every space tells you what to do if you decide to move there. Read the space description carefully. If you are viewing a space, you can press the tick on the top right to travel it. Double space to also do it. Okay. So planes. Draw one card. See, look at that. I guess we can we, we can look at all these. Okay, I'll show you all of them up leading to this. So this is just the hills, just one random card. Wait, do we get something special in the hills? I think I saw something in the hills. It's that you avoid creatures in the hills. Oh, that's cool. But if you kill a creature, you get like experience. So that's the hills, this is the fields, this is a city. So when you visit a city, you get to draw a card. I mean, sorry, you roll a dice and then this happens randomly, right? You get to do all this stuff. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool cards you you can what's this cards that you use will appear here tutorial okay and then this is another um okay hold on it's another hit fields this is a four woods and then the plains okay well, let's go we'll double click to move there there you go pretty sick all right most of the board spaces instruct you to draw one or more they can't look at that 104 dude I'm, I'm i'm happy we're playing this okay they contain many creatures events and items the number of cards in your deck is shown in the deck icon. Okay, we'll draw an adventure card. You have drawn your first adventure card. Once you have read the card's description, press the continue button on the right to encounter or roll the die. Okay, so this is a weapon. So, this is just mine. It's just mine. Add one to your strength during battle. So, you just keep it. It's amazing. So, we just add one strength. Um, after you've drawn an adventure card, you have the chance to use objects, cast spells, or special abilities before you actually encounter it. So, one awesome thing as well, if you play the board game, is, you know, not only do you race other players, but you interact with them. You can trade, uh, you can attack other players, you can do alliances. It is obviously a fun RPG free-for-all on a board game. Like, I highly recommend playing this game in real life. Okay. You have found a sword, which is an object. Oh, so it's 100%. Um, oh man, everything's set up, huh? If, they, if this thing is a sword, you may only carry four objects, but more later. Ooh, so definitely take it. Boom. Ooh, so where's my deck? Here it is, objects. Uh, initially four. Yes, yes, I know. If you have more than four, you can decide to keep one uh, and place the remainder on the current. Oh yeah, you can leave it there. Then ditch the button. Some objects can be used. To do this, double click. Object will glow blue when it's usable. So, uh, so here is our sword. So if you think about it, we have four strength now. Okay, how do we... Uh, okay, that's not... Okay, dismiss. Okay, so we end our turn. When all characters in play have completed a turn, the right, uh, the round ends on the bottom right. You got it. Okay, roll the die again. Okay, so obviously I'm just playing by myself here, but there's going to be more people later. You have rolled enough to attempt to cross the bridge to the middle region. It is guarded by the Sentinel. They will attack every time someone tries to cross. If you choose to move to the space, you will battle the Sentinel. If you defeat him, you get to choose. Okay. Be warned. They have a strength of 9, and it's one of the toughest enemies in the land. You must be strong. If you lose a battle, you lose a life and remain on the Sentinel space. There are other ways to cross. Building a raft or being teleported. Or by ferry. So you can get teleported from town. So we don't want to fight him because our strength is only maximum of four. So we cannot kill him whatsoever. So what we should do is we should just keep exploring. This is the woods. Let's head on over there. Okay, a drawn adventure card. Place cards will stay on the board space while they are drawn for the rest of the game. Or until a condition is met. So you can see here. So you out, yeah, you build the world as you go on. So you unlock this. Other players can run here and make use of the pool of life. So let's read this. There, there is an invigorating pool of cleansing water here. You bathe in the pool once per visit and gain one life. The pool runs dry after it has been visited four times. So I believe if you keep going back and forth, like you get six, you move back, six, you move back, six, you move back, you can get this life as you know up as much as you want. But you know, like I said, it moves away after six. So people can like rush there, but then you know, could be fighting each other. So we we're going to encounter it. So we get six. A card has been left in the space. You can drop objects, magic, and followers by selecting the ditch. Yes. If there are any cards, you can only draw enough new cards. Wait, wait, what's this? If there are any any cards already on a space you land on, you only draw enough new cards to take the total space indicated 
for the space. Yes, sir. For example, if a space instructed reads draw two, but there is already one card there. And then you draw one new card and bring the total to two. If a space reads draw one, and if there's one there, no new cards. Got it. Okay. Coolios. So here's show cards. Um, some spaces already have cards face up. You can select them in more detail. A card can be face up for several reasons. If a combat is lost, the enemy remains there. Ooh. If you move to a space with a card already on it, yes, success. All right, cool, man. Okay. All right, we're done. And keep rolling the die. All right, so what's the overall goal here? I keep getting six. Uh, I'm trying to see the uh, overall goal here. Learn how to travel the land, fight beasts, and use magic and much more. Okay, so honestly, what's the goal? Do I just keep running around? Okay. So I can click over here for some reason. So this is the castle. Royal doctor. Heal your value up to one gold each. If you have the prince or princess, heals two. I can move also here as well, which is the runes. Any creature adds two to their attack rolls. Ooh, that's dangerous. How about we go for another um, basic planes? Luckily, we're not in any rush because there's no other characters, huh? The Phantom! This is a stranger card. A Phantom will haunt the space until it has granted the first evil creature to visit it one of the following wishes of their choice. And then it will vanish. What's this for? Up to four times? So, gain a spell, a gold, a strength, a craft, life, or fate. Or teleport to any other space in the region. Wow, so only evil characters. So our character is a, um... Does it say? I mean, door is... I think it's a neutral character. It says down here. So it's a neutral character. So it stays there. We can't do anything because we're not evil. Uh, yep. Based on their alignment. Yes, that's alignment only. So GG, you can't do anything. End turn. So he stays there. Selecting this tab will show your current quest. Thank you. Okay, roll dice again. Uh, two. Okay. We'll just go here. We'll just keep uh, unlocking more of the map because it seems like... It Honestly, we'll just keep drawing new things here. You have drawn a cave card. Dwarf has a special ability to add one roll for his card. You can view a character's special abilities. All right, so check it out. This is a random encounter. A dark cave. Roll one inside. Wow, look at that. If we get a one card, we get attacked by a dragon. But we are dwarf, which means the minimum we can get is one plus one to two. So, yeah, the, the most the most we can fight is honestly a goblin here. So this is cool. So let's see what we got. A two, so that means we got a three, lost for one turn. <laughs> I can re-roll the dice using one fate, um, but we don't want to do that here. Uh, you encounter many creatures, fight with the strength base. Oh wait, am I fighting the goblin? I thought we plus one, unless I have to, oh my god, I think I have to, I I had to have pressed a thing to add it, my bad. That's okay, it's not, it's not terrible. Okay, ah, the sword, adding the sword to my strength. There you go. So, we roll... How many dice? Roll two dice for yourself, and then two dice for death. If the score are is equal, dice with death. Again, on your next turn. If your score is lower, lose one. All right, here we go. Roll the two. <clears throat> your opponent rolls one die and add the result to its strength. Yeah, yeah, one die and add to the roll. So, my is four, so it went up to six. His is two, and then whatever they roll, right? The two attack scores compared. Uh huh. So pretty much that's it. <laughs> so the modifier. So he put a modifier of what is that? Don't be a six. Oh my god. So he got an eight. So I pretty much uh, lost the fight. Oh, that sucks, huh? <laughs> I lost. You've lost a life. Character starts with few lives, and these can be lost by losing combat or due to various events. You can only heal up to your starting value, but can gain any number of lives. Yeah, you can gain up to whatever. Oh, okay, let's roll. So I can't, I don't think I can fight the thing again, unless I like move back. Um, so let's just go here again. We're just gonna keep unlocking new stuff on the map. Because like, they keep explaining things. Ooh, a shrine. Okay, let's see. There is a shrine here. Roll one die. And you get the following results. Wow, this is a really... Oh, this is an amazing place. Look at this. Ooh, so good. So if you get... Oh, let's go. I got a two. Gain one fate. Oh, that's really awesome. I like that. All right. That was a good event. Next up is a two. That guy's not going to do anything for me. Let's go this way. Let's keep unlocking more stuff. 
Ah, maze. So we are unaffected by the maze because we are the dwarf. There is a complex maze here. Whenever you land here, if your craft is less than five, you miss one turn. Our craft is less, but we are a dwarf. GG is not affect us. And not miss a turn. You can view character special abilities. All right. Thank you. I don't remember what that six means there, though. Yep. All right. A five. You can land on the town or we can land on these. Let's land on the town. Oh, the ruins is plus two. Yeah, let's do the ruins. All right. If you draw one more card, they are encountered in order. Lowest being... Oh, oh, the order card. So this is a five. And this is a six. So I encounter the follower first because it's five and then the marsh. Okay. So we encounter the princess. I thought we encountered this first. Uh, On your... Wait, is it the highest first? These will come if you take them. Any number of them. You get many followers. Bonuses. If you wish to take a follower, press the tick. If you wish to leave him, press the cross. Some followers must be taken. Oh, yeah. There you go. It confused me. Okay. So, this princess is going to be part of our party. You may have up to two lives per visit at the castle for free heal. You may exchange the princess for three gold at the castle. <laughs> That's funny. You're mine. And we got a marsh here. There is a sm foul smelling marsh here. Whenever you land here, if your strength is less than five, you miss a turn. Your turn ends immediately. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. The remainder of cards are shown for the tab. Uh, if, if a card is preventing you from casting a spell, pick it up. I'm showing the tab. Thank you. All right. Boom. So this thing is preventing us from doing anything. My strength is less than five, so I miss a turn. GG. All right. Ooh, one. Oh, let's go back and fight the, the freaking guy again. The cave. All right, travel here. Let's go fight this freaking guy. So, wait, is there a cave and a thing here? All right? Or is it just the cave? Oh, the goblin goes away. Yeah, the, I think the goblin goes away. All right, anyway, the cave's really good for dwarves. Oh, we got a seven? Wait a second. I'm trying to see where, where the option is. Because <coughs> right here it says uh, you may add one to the score in the cave. We are in the cave, but maybe I just can't see the plus because we hit the we hit like the, the highest. That's fine. So this game is a lot of RNG, but it's fine. It's fine. Especially a couple beers, a bunch of friends just yelling at each other, having fun, joking around. A wild boar, an enemy, strength one. Ah, oh, easy, easy. All right, let's kill this boar. So there's no way we lose. There's no way we lose. Okay, no, we can lose. All right, so plus one modifier to our strength. So whatever we roll, plus four. A really low chance that we lose, I swear to God. I roll that sucker. Thank you. We got a nice seven versus, even if that guy got a six, we would have tied. All right, so we win. So what do you win? Well, here we go. It's so really important that you win and fight battles. Y you keep it as a trophy. Creatures who live on the board um, are not taken. The farmer are not taken as a trophy. But then we get a trophy, bing, bing. So where is the trophy? Here's the trophy. The character gains one strength, one craft for every seven points of strength marked on the trophies they turn in. The trophies are then lost. Excess strength to craft potions. So you so you get to choose your progression of your character's level as well. So like I said, you get seven, right? So we killed a very, very easy creature. So he has points of two. So we kill one with five, we can turn one in and increase our strength and go from there. Okay, so cool, right? Okay. So this one can be picked up again with another adventure card because we destroyed a creature on it. It's going to be a long tutorial. <laughs> We're not, uh, like, honestly, I don't know what the wind conditions are. It just says, like, you know, run around, use magic, and much more. Like, I don't know. I guess we just literally play the game until we finish everything. A market. Local villagers have set up a market here. On each visit, you may buy... One, you may okay. You may buy objects at these prices: a sword, a helmet, water bottle, shield, mule, and a raft. We have a lot of money, so this is good. Okay. Ooh, can I get more than one? You do not lose a life in the desert. On your next turn, instead of a normal move, you may choose to cross the river. 
I like that a lot. I can't buy the sword. I guess because we already have it. Oh no, here we go. I could buy another sword. Uh, for another strength. I think I can use two swords. Okay, let's read this one. If you are defeated in battle and lose a life, roll die. Five or six, you're good. You still lost the battle, but you don't lose a life. If you are defeated, it's the same thing, but you have to roll six. This is five or six, so this is much better. That's why it costs one more. Okay, I want to buy... Oh, there's a mule here. Mule can carry an extra four objects for you as a follower. If you lose the mule, leave any surplus of your choice in the space. I like the mule a lot. I think we're going to get a mule. Oh, you can buy as much as you want. Okay, so that's a mule. So I have two more bucks. I think I can stack swords. I think I can stack swords. Let's try that out. All right. When you are ready, defeat the goblin near the village and take it as a trophy. Cast at least one spell to complete the tutorial. Use the left and right buttons to move through your list. Oh, there you go. Okay, there you go. Cool. Okay. Um, so cast the spell to finish. So complete, unfinish. Defeat the goblin near the village. Take it as a trophy. Go over here and cast the spell. I don't have any spells yet, but I haven't even had the opportunity to uh, find one, so that's okay. Roll that die. Okay, sentinel. Mm, don't care about the sentinel. Let's, keep, let's go around this way. So the market doesn't even have anything for me. A lodestone. Cursed? Oh no, you must take it. It counts as two objects that you're carrying. If you visit an alchemist, you can... You can alchemize it to gain one gold. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, that's okay. Because look at that. Yep, some items must be taken. That's okay. Because look, it goes up to five now. Or was it? Uh, it counts as plus two. Wait, does it? Plus two for your carrying limit. It counts as two objects. No, it doesn't. One, two, three, four. So this is four. But this is supposed to be plus two objects, right? So it's supposed to be five, four, six? It counts as two objects for your carry limit. Uh, yeah, that's not showing correctly, I think. Hmm, weird. Am I, am, I, am I wrong? I don't think that's showing it correctly. All right, plus five. Oh, the town. You get to visit. Oh, skip the town. What, is it the fields again? Yeah, let's go. The caves again. I'm down for the caves. As long as we don't fight a dragon. We can't. 100% cannot fight a dragon. Woo! We get some gold. Look, we can add one. So this is five? Uh, because we're a dwarf. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Woo, okay, here we go. Okay, it was a one, two, three, four, five, six to reach the goblin. Five, five or six will be fine with me. Oh, okay, it's fine. Th this goblin is uh, strength plus two, it says, in the maze. Nice, I like how it just shows it when you just hover over it. Okay, let's go. We encounter a goblin first in this, but that doesn't matter. All right, so I think, I think uh, we don't lose. Wait, you can only choose one? Choose your weapons. Oh, can I go one? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I choose more than one? It doesn't let me. Oh, man, you can't choose more than one weapon? But they're... Come on! I know, I know. One sword, one hand. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. What does that do? Wait, what did I do? Oh, I dropped them! Oh, I oh I dropped them by accident! Oh my god! What's this? Oh my god! Oh my the UI is! Oh no! Oh my lord! I dropped the cards on the ground. Ah, oh, roll the dice. I wanted to give this goblin a handicap. Okay, this guy has to roll a freaking two as well. Oh my god, I'm so lucky you rolled a one. Jesus Christ. If you rolled a three, would have tied. I won. Out of sheer dumb luck. Sheer dumb, 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 dumb luck. All right. Ooh, the maze. All right, man. Ugh. There are cards on the space. Can I grab them? Can I grab my damn cards? Can I grab my goddamn quads? Show cards. Can I take them? Doesn't let me click on them anymore. I guess I, guess I have to, because I dropped them this turn, I might have to come back. Uh, <laughs> what a mistake. 
Okay, so the end of the tutorial, we all have to do is use a magic card. So we have to keep traveling until we can get a magic card. So, which means I think uh, if we go to the this place right here, if we go to the, the towns and stuff, we might be able to uh, freaking get one here. Let me see. Oh, God, I want to see it because I'm on the hills. It doesn't let me see the other areas. Magic stream. Oh, that sounds good. Once per visit, you drink and gain one strength. Oh, that's amazing. Good for me. Hey, permanent strength. I don't need that freaking dumb sword anymore. A nice six. Oh, all right. Which one's this again? The fields and the shrine. That was good, right? Oh my god, I rerolled. Oh god, the thing was in the way. Oh my god. Yeah, fate rerolls dice. Yes, yes, yes. This is the pool of life to heal one. Oh my god. Ugh. You saw that, right? I wanted to click and then the UI changed up right away. Book of spells! Perfect! You found the fabled book of spells. You gain your full complement of spells. And then it vanishes. Whoa, that's crazy! For event cards, instruction must be followed, then discarded. Okay, because I'm a dwarf, I only get up to one spell card. <laughs> but that's the tutorial, just do one. All characters are able to, you know, cast spells. As long as they have three craft. Some characters start the game with spells, others must find them. Yay, a draw spell. Boom, teleport! Cast yourself instead of rolling die for movement. Teleport to any space in the same region. Yo, this spell could not be cast in the inner region. Ooh. Okay, we got a spell, and now I can activate it, right? Oops. Spell. Uh, press the blue spells on the left panel to view any spell card you have in Talisman. Any character can cast spells as long as they have enough craft. Craft represents a character's intelligence, wisdom, and magic ability. Craft also determines how many spells you got. Spells are normally gained as encounters and kept our, you know, and kept our kept the secrets. That's right. <clears throat> so the more craft you have, the more higher you know you can have. So you can have up to I guess max plus three. So I have three. Okay, cool. Casting spells is optional. Keep them as long as you like. You can only cast a spell if there is a valid target. Once it is cast, it is discarded. Max spells is equal to the spells you started your turn with. Oh, okay. To cast a spell, double click the card in the usual area. So if we gain one, we can't use it right away. So we have to start. We have to start our turn. Wait, what is this? Cue it. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. I don't want to drop it accidentally. <laughs> okay, we have to wait next turn. Because we started, your craft isn't high enough to gain any more spells. Yes, yes, yes. Double click and use him. Okay, I just read that. Yes, cast a spurn. To cast a spell when it's not your turn, double click it. Oh, wow, you can do like instants, like quick cards, mess with people. You can prepare a spell in advance by queuing it up. Next time it can, it will be used automatically. Yay, all right. Um, okay, so now it's a new turn. Now I'll cast a spell. I'll activate this. I'll teleport. You can teleport anywhere you want. And I shall teleport. Go, go, do it. You've completed the basic tutorial. Try the advanced. Including day and night, different regions, and encountering other characters. Day and night? What is that, an expansion? Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I, I find, okay. Honestly, I know if you got to the end of the episode, you're probably interested in the game too. But honestly, people who saw this as a board game, they probably ain't never played it, don't appreciate these type of games. They probably left in the first couple minutes. But if you're here, I'm going to play this game a little bit more. And I might end up doing maybe a couple more episodes just to see the popularity. And if a lot of people enjoy it, I might keep going with it. And if anything, I'll play it on my own for sure. But, uh, you know, I don't want to put it up if you guys don't want it. So I'm going to keep going for 10 more minutes. And then however far we get, we'll end it there. And then I'll keep making episodes for maybe like... Might be like three to five episodes, and then we'll see if people like it. Okay, so anyway, we finished that. Complete. Now we do this one. Oh, my nose. Day and night system. I don't remember doing a day and night system at all. Whoa, look at this. Oh, we're playing with expansions now, boys. All right. Yeah, I, so I, okay, so when, when I played with my friends, we only had one expansion and they pretty much add to the board or their new characters, new, there's like, you know, lots of different things you can add. 
Um, the expansion we had was a dungeon expansion, so you can go do the regular beat the boss in the middle, or you can go defeat the boss in the dungeon to win the game, <laughs> which was crazy. Okay, so let's go. Um, the surrounding land of Talisman are four great kingdoms known as regions. In this tutorial, the city region is in play and can be visited by all characters. To enter the city, you move from the city space on the main board to the city gate if you have sufficient movement. In most of the stories of Talisman Origins, you will control the only character on the board, but there will be times when other characters appear to help or hinder your progress. In this tutorial, an ogre chieftain is roaming, looking to attack the dwarf. You can view his stats and abilities by selecting his icon. Okay, here's the ogre chieftain. Here he is. Oh my god. Okay, so here we are. So look at that. He has two craft, five strength, six lives, one fate, one gold. Me, so I'm more of a balanced character. This guy's straight strength, man. Ooh. Ooh, crazy. Okay, so what's the goal in this tutorial here? The goal of this tutorial is to travel, fight beasts, magic, and much more. Okay, so it's one of those things where we literally run around again until it says the specifics, which I'm totally fine with. So I've never messed with this before. I don't know what the hell this thing does. I don't know what these are. High Temple. Academy. So I don't know how this works. Like, I guess we have to... Like, how do we reach there? It said we have to go on, like, the space here. So I will try my hardest to reach over here because I am interested in seeing what the heck is over here. Let's roll that die. I got a three. Oh, awesome. Okay, we'll go over here. We'll head on over there. This is the crags. Oh, it's the crags. Uh oh, roll one die. Uh, attacked by a spirit with craft four. Eh, it isn't the worst, so I don't mind. Two or three, lose the next turn. Safe, no effect. A barbarian leads you out. Gain one strength. Whoa. Okay, this place isn't too bad, too terrible at all. Too terrible at all. All right. Oh, you know, I don't have to roll. I will roll. I will roll. So get that sweet, sweet four or five. Okay, that's fine. I was hoping a six, but yeah, <laughs> it's whatever. Okay, so my goal is to do whatever. The chieftain's ultimate goal is to kick my ass. So here we go. He's going to roll. Roll the dice. It's a three. I can skip to my next turn. That's nice. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, he chooses to move there. He gets an adventure card. He got the... Hydra! Oh, he's gonna fight a Hydra! Oh, let's see what this ability is. If you defeat the Hydra... Okay. You know what? Let's just let him do whatever. If I really care at the end. If you defeat a Hydra, one, one die. It regenerates. Did he just lose? Seven? Oh, he lost! Woo! Eight. Look at that. Okay, if you kill it, roll a die. If, you, if it's a one, it regenerates. One or two, it regenerates, and you keep going. Oh, it's a standstill. <laughs> Dude, the Hydra seems so strong. Oh, what a sucker. Loser. Loser. I wonder if I can speed it up a little bit. Just by a little bit. I don't want it to, like, go too crazy. All right. My turn. Five. Okay, we're going to end up going here. Oh, I can go here. Here we go. This is a city gate. Okay, what does this do? A city gate. A wanted list. Okay, so how does this work? You may buy any wanted posters on the space for one gold each or claim any bounties. At the end of your turn, draw new wanted posters. Okay. I'm down. Let's go try it out. Let's go try out this quest system. Yay, you're now in the city. Movement is slightly different. You roll one die, but you must move in the direction of the arrow shown in the space. The city is divided into street spaces and shop spaces. You may only enter a shop from the adjacent street space if you have sufficient movement points. Any remaining are lost. If you begin your turn in a shop, you must spend one movement to move out. Okay. You may only enter a shop if you are able to follow the instructions on the space. You can only enter the menagerie if you have enough gold to purchase a pet. Um, wanted posters are available to all characters who visit. Each wanted poster lists the target. You may claim bounties by having trophies. Uh, wanted posters are objects, but are trinkets instead. Trinkets are objects which do not count towards a character's carrying capacity. Cool. Oh, man. Dude, I would love to have had this uh, expansion playing IRL. Okay, so we get one of these. We buy it. Okay, let's see what we got. When you claim this bounty, gain gold to the amount of trophy points. Ooh, now, now, now this is a now this is interesting. So you come back here and get gold, or you save up those trophy points for freaking craft levels. 
crafting strength levels. Okay. I think we have a higher chance of getting um, animals. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the animal posters. Okay. So how does it work again? It said we move in a, in, a, in a direction? Okay. I'm trying to like see what's going on here. All right, how do I move left and right? I don't know how to freaking move. Okay, so oh, the arrow's moving here, so we're moving this way. So so we move in one way. We we go this way. So we go this way. We go. And if we stop, oh no, we oh no, we go this way. And we can, if we stop here, we go this way. Oh, I see. Yeah, we go this way, and then we get out. Oh, okay. So you make your trip through. That's pretty. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, Chieftain rolls a dice. He's chasing me into the city. Someone help me. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Ah! What's he doing? He chose the resident. Visit the doctor to heal one life. Because he has one gold. Alright, sucker. Alright, my turn. Like, leave me alone, eager Chieftain. Oh, I got a one. Oh, great. I don't think that did anything. Actually, the one is just a random card. Yeah, I'm fine. It says don't draw a card if there are already three cards. So you can draw multiple. You can do multiple spaces. Physician. Now you can see the outline of the card is a white card, which mostly means that it's going to be from this expansion. So I don't know if this whole deck is made from just the base game plus this. I don't think so because it's missing a bunch of cards. I don't know. It's a modified deck for the for the campaign, I suppose. At the start of your turn, before you move, you may pay one gold to heal. No, I don't need to do that. But it's on the it's on the floor now. Oh, it's a follower! Oh, it's a follower! I thought it was a place! Oh my god. This is a really good character. Oh, wow. Maybe we end up doing all that stuff anyway to get the gold. Roll the die. We'll click on this character. Alright. Let's see what this guy is going to do next. A six? You have to land on me, I think. Yeah, he's just going to go ahead. Later, sucker. What's this? He landed on... um. Landed on... Noble Street. Draw one card. I thought you have to do this stuff. I'll resume the game. My bad. A cell oh, a follower? Oh, man. Oh, you got a follower card. Let's see what he got. Okay, he got... Read each follower carefully. Yes, okay, thank you. Uh, cell sword. If you pay one gold, the cell sword will fight in your place with a strength of three. If it wins, the creature is killed. Or the uh, opposing creature loses one life. The cell sword loses. He is killed and turned immediately. Oh wait, what? Hold on. Okay, cell sword fight in your place. If the cell sword wins, the creature is killed. Uh, if it, if it wins, the creature is killed, or the opposing character loses one life. Uh, okay. If the cell sword loses, he is killed. And your turn immediately ends. Enemies killed, maybe take it as trophy. Why would I want that? Like, I don't know. That's weird, isn't it? I roll the die. I got a nice four. <gasps> Are we going to fight? Oh, man, we can fight the ogre. Here's the thing, though. I, my, my strength is three. His strength is five. That's not... Oh, I have to fight him? Um, I'll do it. I have fate. I have, I, I have a couple rerolls. Let's go. When you land on a space with another character on it, you can choose to encounter and follow the instructions. If you encounter, attack them, or special ability. I don't even know what special abilities. Monsters will not attack you, but you have the option to, to fight them. When you defeat a monster, you may dominate it and keep it as a follower. Oh! The monster add its strength to yours? What? After which it departs. Oh, so it's a very powerful one, but it departs after you use it. You may use any number in battle. This, is, this guy's crazy. He's a monster leader. What a crazy guy. Encounter character or space. Encounter the character. Let's battle, ho. I know we're at a disadvantage, but, you know, the tutorial most likely wants us to do this. Take this, bitch. That, uh, six, six. Damn it. He has to roll a one. Oh, I lost. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna. Oh, oh I'm gonna re-roll, of course, using a fate. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I win now. Oh, it's tied. Shit. Standoff. Uh, well met. Well, well met. 
Well met, Ogre Chief. I should have encountered the space. Nah. All right, what's he doing? Draw an adventure. Shady dealer, lose one gold, then roll a die. Oh man, that sucks, huh? Hey, we finished the quest. To complete the tutorial, defeat him in battle at least once. Oh my god. Uh, guys, this might take a long time. <laughs> ah! Um, travel to the Warlock's Cave and complete a quest. And defeat Air Elemental, which is ravaging the city streets. Okay, so I pretty much understand what the quest is. I don't think we need to complete it. Um, let's go back out. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Oh, I guess we needed to do that for that. That's okay. It's not important. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to quickly see what the heck this is before we like end it. Okay. Let's see what this is. Chapter 1. So, when you play the game normally, it's literally like do this or that. Or like when you have expansions, you pretty much just, you know, do whatever. But here, there's tons of different sort of scenarios which could work well. So, the first one is the Eagle King. The construction of the Crown of Command has begun. First, the wizard requires gems that will store the magical energy he plans to infuse within the crown. There is only one place such as gems can be found, in the Highlands. Ah, so let's just see what the map looks like when we jump in. Looks like there's a bunch of challenges and other things. My journey begins. Oh, we are the wizard. Mm. Though I question what right I have. Man, I wonder if there's a place where I could just jump on a map and just play. Maybe. I hope. I, I really hope there is. Um, unless... You know, we'll see. Though I question what right I have to rule this land, my resolve is strong and I will bring order to peace. I will create a crown imbued with power the likes which I've never seen. First, I must find gems that can store and amplify the magical energy I plan to use in the crown's creation. However, the Highland region is the only place I will be able to find such gems and I very much doubt that the spirit that protects those lands would give them up freely. I must tread carefully as so as to not come into conflict with him or his followers. My actions may be like that of a common thief, but if I must lower myself to such standards for the greater good, so be it. Alright, so our overall goal here is to seek the gems in the Highland. So, this deck is 124. Oh, this is the Highland right here? Travel to the Highland region. Like, I don't know. This is the Highland right here? Right here? New expansion. What's all this? Portal of Power. Okay, hold on. Hold on. What, what? I guess we draw a spell because we're freaking... Oh, I teleport. Ooh. Teleport invisibility. You may evade creature until the end of turn. Hold on. I want to see what the hell this stuff is. Is this the Highlands? Ruined mine? The hills? This has to be the Highlands, right? Look at this. So how, did, how does this work? Oh, you enter here. Look, you enter here. And then it's a, it's a full pathway. It's another full pathway. And it looks like I can go here or I can encounter this space. So I can do... So I can either do the mountain pass or I can do one of these, I think. Like go on the go on the cliffs. What's that? The eerie... Fight the Eagle King! If you win, you may gain one relic and move to any space in the outer or middle region. If you have a standoff, move to the crags. Holy crap! Alright, guys. Well, this was the very first episode of... Oh, well, I don't know if I'll play this on... Sh on okay, it, it all depends on you guys. So if this gets a good amount of views, you guys are interested, I will continue the series and we will go ahead and try and do a Let's Play. If not, well, I, I'm definitely going to be playing this myself. It's a very chill game, but I don't know how fun it is to watch. <laughs> so it's up to you. Now, let's quickly talk about the game. Um, assuming we, we leave this off forever and never come back. Um, I like it a lot. It's very cool. I don't know if there are any ways to just simply jump in and just play a magic, like a random game on your own. Um, it seems like you just do the campaign, which it seems like, you know, there's a lot of chapters and all that stuff. Uh, it's, it's interesting. It's cool. Let's see how much it is really quick. And let's get a little bit more information before we drop off for today. Okay, so it says uh, full rule set revised fourth edition. It is completely single player. Uh, five reviews. I'll go ahead and try to review this again later. So there's 12 talisman characters to take over. Um, 20 quests, four campaigns, 100 challenges, detailed tutorial, unlocked. Okay, it looks like um, you might end up buying future stuff, but it's okay for now. 
the reviews here that we've seen, um, good, 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 worth a buy, worth a buy, worth a buy. Hell, yeah, this is pretty good. I, I just wish that there was an open map to play, but there is already Talisman. Yeah, there is already a Talisman game to play. So they already have an official licensed multiplayer game. It came out 2014. And I think with this, this like, okay, Talisman Origins, what I'm playing is the single player experience for fun. If you play this other one, it's just random. So, hey, who knows? Who knows? I, I, might, I might end up trying this one out too, just so I can do some single player against the AI. Because um, I don't want to wait for other players online. And this game does take hours anyway. So yeah, like I, cause like right now I don't have the choice to pick anyone I want. At least not yet. Like like maybe in the other ones you get to choose a character, but that's just its own simple thing. Like maybe I just want to start a random campaign, and maybe like maybe I want to add in this expansion and that expansion and this one only. So yeah, I mean uh, Talisman Digital might be cool. So uh, yeah, this game's great. It's like it's good. If you if you play board games at all, or want to try a single player experience. If you play Talisman before, don't want to wait for other players. This is great. It's all automated, you know, just the mouse. You can come back whenever you want. It's cool. I think it's cool. I like it a lot. I'm definitely going to be playing it, but um, I'm going to wait for the, the feedback on you guys, uh, whether it's reviews, likes, comments, to see if I'm going to record anymore. If not, I'll just play on my own. So, yeah, great game. Go check it out. Thanks for being here, and I will see you guys next time.